when you take a short meditation break like this, you want to be really strict with yourself. In other words, make up for the lack of quantity of time by the quality of your attention. Be really on top of every movement of the mind, every movement of the breath. So you can get the most out of the few minutes while you're sitting here. So 100% with the breath. The quality of the Buddha calls intent or citta. You can put your whole mind here. You really want to experience the breath all around through the body. Let the whole body get nourished by the breath. It's in this way that short meditation breaks can be really refreshing. Totally put down your loads. Thoughts about your work, thoughts about your family, thoughts about what's going to happen tomorrow and the next day. What happened yesterday? Drop them entirely. Try to be as absolutely present as you can. And then the breath can do its work on the body. If you let it, it can nourish all, all the parts of the body. And the mind gets nourished as well. Think of the breath going deep into places where it ordinarily doesn't seem to go. Deep into your eyes and deep into your brain. Deep down inside your hips, in your feet, down to the toes. Any place that seems to need nourishment, nourish it as fully as you can. Let the breath do its work. Remember John Lee's example. The breath is the medium by which the medicine of your attention gets to work on the mind, work on the body. It's like a medicine that has it's dissolved in alcohol. In old-time medicines, they put a fair amount of alcohol because the alcohol goes throughout your whole system. And so once the, the medicine is mixed with the alcohol, it goes everywhere too. So if I say, think of the breath as your alcohol, it may not sound all that good, but think of it as the means by which the medicine of your attention gets all the way through the body. 100% from the top of the head down to the toes. Then when you come out of the meditation, you'll feel really refreshed.